Hello everybody at Trans Youth. It's me, Teja, and I'm here to do another video. Now, um, I will put a disclaimer right here that this video will probably offend somebody and that this video is not going to be for everybody. So if you are <clears throat> A, really hardcore about your religion, then don't watch. If you are here to try and convince me of something otherwise don't watch this video if you're easily con if you're easily easily offended then please do not watch this video and let's just save ourselves the hassle um now let's get into it this week's topic is about religion and i'm going to be really honest i had a really difficult this time this week deciding whether or not i was going to make this video because the way I see it, there's just no way for me to make this video without upsetting somebody. And what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to talk about my religion, my beliefs, and <clears throat> my experience with religion, and how I see myself in the cosmos, how it affects me. And, um, yeah, so let's just get started. My spiritual belief is a form of paganism. It is, um, a Greek paganism derived from, um, an ancient Greek religion. And it's been passed down in my family for centuries. And it is something that I am very serious about. Um, and it's something that I truly believe in. And before people really kind of think that it's this weird hocusy pocusy witchcraft kind of thing, or this um, delusional kind of business, really, basically, what it boils down to is my spirituality is more or less a spirituality than a religion. And we pride ourselves on nature, reality, and science. And we use things like deities as representations of certain things. We don't necessarily believe that they exist. They just represent a certain function of something. So, that being said, um, there is a whole lot more to it about them being actual teachers back in the day, but we just won't go into that. Anyway, so basically... Every person in my family is born into a house. I was born into the house of Apollo. My mother was born into the house of Demeter. That being said, I belong to a coven, which involves literally me and one other person. And we have a twin coven because her guide or her house is Artemis. So that makes us twins. And... I am the type of person where I need A, scientific proof, and B, have to face reality. Um, but I do accept and understand that there are some things that science will never be able to prove. And that is just a fact. It really is. People can do as much research as they want. There are some things about the universe, about this world, that we will never be able to fully explain with science. And with that being said, it does make me feel like there is no way that there could be something not out there to help perpetuate the universe. That being said, I don't believe that entity affects you and what you do with your life and how and your effect on the world this entity to me controls the balance of everything that happens for every action there is a reaction and it is all about the balance now in my belief every single person every single thing in this entire planet is built up of energy which is a fact 
Everything is built up of energy. A glass jar is built up of energy. Your body, your hair, your clothes, the food you eat, the glasses you wear, the milk you drink, it all is comprised of energy. And what you see, everything that you see as a physical object, like my glasses, I see that these are a black rimmed glass. They're plastic flame, frames and they're square. <clears throat> I see that, but that is just a synthesized mirror image of light through a spectrum that produces a universal image. So, <clears throat> that being said, every single person is technically a part of this entity at large and this entity and you being entity means that you control your past you control your future you control everything that you do for everything that happens to you is a situation you thereby create on a subconscious level and what you do to react is to counterbalance whatever happens. Sometimes you can throw the balance. That means the effects become 10 times more adverse. You know, it's all about chain reaction and it's all kind of in an infinite loop. So now that you understand a little bit kind of of what my beliefs are, um, you know, my history with religion is very extensive. I, as some of you know, I come from a multi-racial background. My mom is Indian, Greek, British, and Chinese. And my dad is Brazilian, African, German. So that's like eight different nationalities all rolled up into one. And every single person in my family has a different, has a different kind of um, religion. My grandfather is very, very, very Muslim, um, but his family was originally Hindi, except for my great-grandmother, who is Buddhist. And my mom's mom is pagan, and her mummy mom is pagan, but her mom's dad is Anglo-something or other. And my dad's side is very much so Catholic, like hardcore Catholic. So, um, my stepdad grew up in a Protestant family. Now, my mom is pagan, but my mom is more so a universal utilitarian, and my dad is definitely a universal utilitarian with Protestant beliefs. And growing up, I spent every summer of my life going to Bible camp at a universal utilitarian church and um, you know it was very open it was very whatever you know my pastor was a lesbian um, there were some gay people there was many different nationalities many different walks of life and I grew up in a very kind of strong Christian based household uh, my grandfather was really the only influence that opposed that and somewhat my mother um, my grandfather, with his Muslim religion, has always been telling me, why don't you jump out of a plane, why don't you join the army, why don't you go play football, it'll set you straight, and then you'll be fixed, and you'll have nothing to worry about, and whatever. And that had always been a huge, huge, huge conflict for me, and... Um, in terms of Christianity, I went to a Catholic elementary school, and my hugest issue with that was the fact that I was ostracized for being different. You know, I was like any other kid, but I had more feminine tendencies. I would want to play with the girls, I'd want to wear the girls' uniform, I wouldn't want to be the policeman when we played dress up, I wanted to be the bride. And I would draw pictures of flowers and mermaids rather than, you know, 
cars and beer cans or something, you know? Like, it just didn't interest me at all. So, that being said, I very much, I very quickly fell out of love with both of those religions. And I have a lot of respect for um, universal utilitarian, the, the universal utilitarian religion, just because of the fact that it is very open and very broad. My only problem with it is it still uses Christian scriptures, but in the same token, they're very contradictory. And a lot of these scriptures are very, very outdated. Now, in some of the original scriptures, they say things like, it is a sin to eat. Um, it is a sin to eat shellfish. Um, it was a sin to do many, many things. It was, a, it was a sin to not have a child. It was a sin to be childless. Like, literally. Like, these things are, like, just stupid rules. And the thing is, is that people don't realize that back then, these weren't necessary, necessarily the will of God. These were laws put in place to help preserve that society of the time. Because the Roman Empire, where this mainly rose up from, was going through a lot of wars. They were trying to conquer other countries and build their empire, which they did very successfully. Yes, they're very tactical people, um, but they were really strict with their laws and according to their religion. Like, before the Christiana Christianity rose within the Roman Empire, it was very pagan. And, you know, there's a lot of parties and orgies and um, homosexual behavior, trans, um, transsexual behaviors. There was a lot of these things, and it never affected the society. The society was very peaceful. It was very to itself. If you look up Greek history, you'll see that, you know, it wasn't necessarily about conquering anything. It was about preserving and being happy. And these people throughout history are constant reminders of how they use science, reality, and logic to build upon this idea of a paganism pagan and pagan beliefs so um you know it was really it's really interesting to go back and look but because of this you know having children wasn't something that was necessary it was something that just happened you know and so obviously when you're going to start battling in wars you lose people and if your people are depleting your army gets smaller so you have to procreate in order to make your make sure that your army Days to a certain size and grows. That's how you. That's how they use. They use people to conquer other countries. So they made their people procreate, and they made it a law that you had to, so that you can build their army. It was a sin to eat your shellfish because shellfish back then it was hard to clean. You couldn't clean it, and a lot of shellfish carry a lot of diseases if you don't care, if you don't treat them or cook them properly which they did not necessarily have the tools to do back then. So what are they going to do to preserve their people from getting sick and spreading diseases? Make eating shellfish illegal, you know? Um, it, there are all these little things that kind of help them preserve and grow their armies. And that's what this huge stemming of Christianity does come from, their laws based on their societal needs and they end up carrying this throughout history and it just spun out of control and became completely ridiculous instead of adjusting to the time they started shoving things down people's throat and you can definitely see in history that certain things in science and in um, development as a society flows down in certain areas and certain times and period and certain times in history because religion does become a huge influence you know um so i know that's probably going to offend a lot of people and i don't mind you know whatever you can leave your comments down below and very much so disagree but this is just my opinion and um so going into how 
I feel a religion has my religion affects me is not it doesn't it's just an extension of who I am you know it's a diff it's the difference between me um seeing reality for what it is and giving myself personal philosophy and morals to live by and that has nothing to do with well, I shouldn't say it has nothing to do with who I am, because it has a lot to do with who I am as a person. It has nothing to do with me being a transsexual. You know, I am a woman. Um, you know, you can research any study. I am I'm born with a female brain. My body is developed differently. You know, I am in a process to correct what is wrong. And that is going to make me happy. You know, it's like it doesn't affect anything else except myself. I'm making myself happy. It doesn't make you happy. Well, me get going and getting, you know, a sex change isn't going to affect your life in any way. I'm going to be over there suffering in hospital bed and waiting for my badge to heal while you're probably going to be having dinner with family and laughing about stuff and praying to God, you know? Like, it really does not have any effect on you whatsoever. Um, and... How do I feel about myself, like, where do I view myself in the cosmos? I am a singular thread of energy that complements and contrasts to other energies in the universe. And I feel it's my goal to be able to harmonize my energy with the energies around me. And that's how I feel about it. Um... The only way religion has affected me is when people, A, try to use it as an excuse for why they think what I'm doing is wrong, which I will then rebuttal with, your religion says nothing about me being a transsexual. (laughs) The only thing it says is that men should not wear women's clothes, but I'm not a man. I'm a woman, and I am wearing women's clothes. So, you know, I, I, it's just, and I mainly focus in on Christianity, but I mean, Muslim, like the Islamic religion as well, it's just like, you know, if the only thing you can sit there and tell me is to jump out of a plane and join the army, well then, fuck that shit, because I'm not going to harm other people and trample on other people's country and other people's lands and other people's beliefs for some weird personal gratification. You know, I'm not about to put myself in a war over oil when we have other resources other than oil to use um but yeah no it it does it doesn't really affect like affect me it offends me when people try to shove their religion down my throat you know and don't take this as me shoving my religion down your throat i'm just trying to give you an explanation of my history and my beliefs so that you understand that really it adversely has no effect on my life, just like my life has no effect on any of you. You know, I can give you advice, I can tell you about my mistakes, and I can tell you what I've learned, but it is your choice to take those with you or not. Whatever God you believe in, whatever values and morals you believe in, whatever scripture you read, The point of every single religion is just to be the best person you can be every day and to love and respect yourself and the things around you and appreciate and give thanks for all of the things that you possess. And I think that is super, super, super important. So don't waste your time taking religion too seriously. But I do promote being spiritual and being faithful. I think it's important to have that, you know? It's important to be able to have faith. It doesn't matter if you have faith in a god or a religion, or even yourself. Just have faith in something, you know? Anyway, I made this video really long, and I'm really sorry, but I had a lot to explain. And um, I hope you found this interesting. If you have any more questions, you can always go and email us at transbeastchannel at gmail.com. Let me know what you guys feel about what I said. Post it down below. Let Tell me about your beliefs and, you know, 
share how you have to over like what battles you have to overcome in order to uh, when you're facing religion and how your personal beliefs affect your daily life it's really interesting to hear and um if you want to find out more information about me you can go to my channel which is xl question mark ox and until next time love and respect yourself stay safe and i'll see you next time bye